Okay. Oh my god, can you imagine this with proper HDR? Come on. Oh. This looks fantastic. And this short gameplay sequence is the reason why I would love to see native HDR support in Kina Bridge of Spirits. Welcome back to my channel. And my plan was actually to show you the nice thunderstorm again, but unfortunately after the cut sequence it's gone. There's no thunderstorm anymore. Now we have a nice sunny day. And to be honest, let, let me ask you something. Who needs a sunny day like this when we can have thunderstorm? I don't. But anyway, yeah, let's be serious, okay? So this game looks absolutely fantastic in my opinion. And the downside is, the disadvantage uh, in this game is this game loses a lot of potential because it's not using native HDR. So let me actually show you on a quick example what I'm talking about. So we have here our nice sun with a couple of clouds. So I'm not quite sure what my camera can catch at this very moment, but because we're just using a SDR picture and right now my PlayStation 5 is not outputting in HDR. This is the SDR picture. We are losing or we're just using a limited dynamic range in terms of brightness. So, and you can clearly see this because even sometimes there's a cloud in front of the sun, it is very hard to yeah, distinguish the sun from the cloud because there's just one bright object then because the maximum brightness uh, is limited and then the sun and the cloud have almost the same brightness. It is very, very hard to see actually details. And at the moment, um, I mean, in the left corner, left top corner, maybe you can see a couple of clouds, but here we have actually here a cloud coming and we have here something very hard to see, very hard to see. So the next thing what I, what I found, and I think this is also related to um, yeah, SDR, um, this is a little bit washed out. Uh, when it comes to displaying details in darker areas, I found that this game, when you look at the tree in the back, it looks a little bit washed out. So don't get me wrong, this can be a design decision that the developer said, hey, we like to have this like it is, or it can be maybe because we're using SDR, because we are limited again in the range and some somehow we have to um, yeah, make the picture a little bit brighter because we are in a bright environment at the moment because a very nice sunshine and we have to brighten up particular sequences or, or scenes or, or, or parts from the picture from the game that's why it does look a little bit washed out at this very moment so not don't get me wrong the whole game has a very nice um, overall gamma. I don't think that the, the game is washed out because when we look here, this looks absolutely fantastic. This is really, in my opinion, because we're just using SDR, we are limited with the range. That's why this is displayed as it is. I'm almost sure when if this game would use a proper native HDR support, we would not have this yeah foggy picture here. Okay, and this is what we're getting when we're forcing the PlayStation 5 into HDR. But again, we are not talking about native HDR. Now what we're doing is the PlayStation 5 is outputting SDR and we're displaying this in a HDR picture mode. Okay, this is what is happening. But I have to admit, it does look better. It does look better in terms of the maximum peak brightness. We are not getting any additional details because all what um, we are now doing is we're adding more brightness to the picture. That's all what is happening, nothing else. We, we still have the yeah, washed out look from the trees here and we still have almost no details around the sun. It's just everything is brighter, okay? So that's all what is happening. And again, if you like to play a non-supported HDR game in HDR on the PlayStation 5, you have to have, you have to use dynamic tone mapping on, okay? With dynamic tone mapping off and HTLG on the LG ZX, you will end up with the same brightness as in SDR, okay? So just dynamic tone mapping on will add additional brightness, okay, to the picture. And 
again it does look better it does look better i found this already on a game uh, like the tourist i made a video about this i really like the effect in the tourist a lot because of the graphic style here it does look better but i still think um, you add a lot of of this foggy picture as well because again we just have sdr all what we increasing is the brightness so yes it does look better in terms of the maximum peak brightness from objects like this or when you have some um, mirroring or when you walk through water where's water because this looks also very nice now because it's a little bit brighter but you also add adding actually the yeah the the disadvantages from sdr also okay so the tourist is a very good example in my opinion how forcing hdr can improve the picture in my opinion the tourist is a very good example kina you have to try it if you like it okay so it does look better in my opinion but again you also have you also show the disadvantages a little bit more and Amber Lab, if you're watching this video, I can fully understand why we don't have native HDR in this video because you're just a small studio, but don't get me wrong. What you have done with this game, this is amazing. This is outstanding in terms of gameplay, in terms of the visual aspects. I'm absolutely thrilled, to be very honest, what a small studio can actually do compared to much bigger studios okay so and all what we can do in my opinion is support developer publisher like ember lab if you're a fan of this genre then go ahead and buy this game i can just recommend this game it it is a lot of fun it is it's looking great and the gameplay is very fluent without any hiccups so far i really just like it okay so again was to play absolutely worth to play and i would love to see a second part a sequel with proper hdr support and then wow then wow okay no worries um i think that's enough for this video i would love to read your comments about yeah this game in terms of do we need hdr do we not need hdr and so on and so on so put your opinion put your comments in the comment section and yeah let's have a nice talk let's have a nice chat about this and again thank you very much for watching me i see you guys next time bye